Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. In this video guys, we are going to discuss a hardware offering by Hugging Face that is called as Zero GPU. So this video has been requested to me by some of my subscribers and here I am fulfilling their wish by actually creating content on this. So without taking any time further, let's get started with Zero GPU. So, as I told you guys, Zero GPU is a hardware offering by Hugging Face. To explain this more in detail, I will actually take you to the to the Hugging Face Spaces page, where we actually used to uh, you know select the hardware for hosting our machine learning and AI generative AI applications. So you can see that whenever you create a new space. You select the SDK you want to code in. So if you want to code a Streamlit, Ready or Docker or whichever app. And then you get an option to actually host your application on a certain hardware, right? So if you have created an application in Streamlit and you want to, you want to host it on the hardware on Hugging Face server, you need to select a hardware. Now you can see here in this drop down the only hardware which is free and that is enabled. So only the ones which are in white are enabled. The ones which are grayed out are not enabled for you to use. So the only enabled free hardware is the CPU basic one. The CPU basic with 16 GB free, uh, 16 GB of memory is the only free hardware you can use. Rest everything you need to either pay the hourly charges or it is grayed out because you cannot use it. So what is the deal with that, right? So for example, I would like to say that if you're using a Streamlit application or a Docker application or a Gradio application, you can actually use the CPU version for free. But for GPU version, you have to pay certain money. Now, for some of you guys, they have got their own machine learning AI projects that actually require GPU to run but you don't have enough resources that you can spend on an hourly basis on a GPU. So zero GPU is actually the uh, solution for that. Okay. Now zero GPU in a nutshell is a shared GPU. Okay. And zero GPU, as you can see is present here. This is actually disabled right now because it is only available for Gradio SDK. So as soon as I switch to Gradio based application, you can see that now zero NVIDIA A100 is actually available for us to select. So, uh, so guys, the zero GPU A100 uh, GPU is free for us to use. And how does it work for free is that this is a shared GPU. So we have got multiple hugging face spaces basically running on a single GPU and uh, they basically each switch between the memory and the CPU resources, sorry, the GPU resources. So this is not a very reliable way to host your applications if you want to share it on an enterprise level. Uh, definitely I would discourage that. But if you are only using Hugging Face for your own experiments and for creating some applications that you want to play around and maybe for your learning and development purposes, I would say the, ZP, the Zero GPU is actually a really great way for you to do that okay the only crux here is that you can only develop the gradio based applications you cannot have any other application type to be hosted on the zero gpu but that's actually not the only problem here there is only one other problem guys that most of you who are watching this video might not even see this option in their drop down they will not even see the zero GPU, zero NVIDIA option, or if they see it, it's definitely going to be disabled even for the Gradio SDK. And why is that so? It is because the zero GPU is only enabled for pro users. So you can see uh, on my screen here, guys, that now if I go to my profile, I will show you that I am actually a pro user and I got my subscription because I wanted to show you guys the zero GPU. So if you go to settings here, guys, and you go a little bit down, now I'm not getting that option of upgrade to pro because I have already upgraded. But basically, if you upgrade to pro, guys, you will see uh, that it shows you all the advantages that you can run your applications on zero GPU and you can obviously get some other benefits as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, if you upgrade to pro guys that is a nine dollar per month 
subscription so once you get once you get that subscription you will be able to select the zero nvidia a100 as your hardware and you can now run your application on it however i would definitely suggest guys that zero gpus is still a much better option even though it's not entirely free it's still much better because you are not incurring an hourly charge so in case of gpu if you want to run your space for a longer amount of time you will start incurring your hourly charge and that can go way above nine dollar right because you can see even one hour is uh you know 40 cents uh, per hour right so so this is definitely a much uh, better way of hosting your applications so now guys now that we know what is zero gpu how you can enable that what are the advantages of it how it actually works it is time for us to create a gradio application and run it on a zero gpu and see how we can actually do that so if you see this application guys this application i have actually developed with zero gpu uh, gradio sdk and all it takes is a single prompt and it generates an image on uh, the basis of that prompt okay so let's go to our uh, hugging face uh, spaces again and let me name my space something called as zero gpu 2 and zero gpu 2 is going to be a gradio application i'm gonna make it a text to image application i'm taking a template which actually converts your from text to images then i'm gonna select the zero gpu hardware I am going to make this application as public because I want to later share this application with all of you guys. And now I will create a space. So you can see that my space is going to get created. But I am not going to actually wait for the application to start running. The first thing I am going to do is I am going to go to my files and I will open my app.py. Now you can see here there is a lot of code here written for making sure that your application runs even if it's a CPU or even if it's a gpu right so you can see there is a lot of code here written now we are going to actually get rid of all this code and we will only make sure that our application by default assumes that it is going to run on a gpu and uh, we will only use the gpu code for now so i'm going to actually so i'm going to actually uh, delete the gpu code and i'm going to delete this else part and then I'm going to go to my infer function here and I am actually going to create my pipe object right here. But you can see my pipe object is now using a FP16 and it is using a GPU uh, device where the device is by default going to be the CUDA device. There is another uh, small reference to it where it says the uh, power device. So I will by default set my power device to GPU. And I will also remove the else part of setting the power device to CPU. Okay. So this is my code now. Now before I commit this code, I know that whenever I am going to hit the infer function here, I am going to get an error because i am not running on a gpu i'm actually running on a zero gpu so i want to make sure that if i get a gpu i actually start running on uh, running this space right so just to make this space running on a zero gpu i have to do something called as import spaces spaces and then i have to decorate this function is something called as spaces dot zero gpu let me just confirm it from my application that i have built here so i have to yeah decorate it decorate it from spaces dot gpu not zero gpu so i will decorate it with uh, this function spaces dot gpu and now it is time for me to actually commit the changes so i'll just click on commit to main and now you can see that it starts to build my application but this is still not enough guys because even if this starts to work i will still get an error and the reason for that is that if you want to use zero gpu your gradio sdk must be at the latest version and to uh, actually make your uh, gradio sdk the latest version you have to edit your readme.py file 
and you can see that the SDK version here is 4.26.0 but the SDK version that I actually used in my uh, running file is 4.29.0 so I'm just gonna go and uh, update it here and finally I'm gonna commit uh, this change also to main okay so just remember we did two major changes we updated our zero uh, we updated our uh, gradio to the latest version and also we decorated the function that you want to run in gpu as spaces dot gpu so you just have to decorate it with spaces dot gpu okay i will show you one more time it is spaces dot gpu you just import spaces spaces dot gpu okay so now you can see that your app has started to run so it's time for me to open this app and uh, hopefully now it's going to work you can also see that it says currently running on gpu okay so this is zero gpu working for you now you're going to enter your prompt so let's say i want to generate uh, let's take an example right an astronaut riding a green horse so let me just take this example and i'm gonna click on run here so let's see how it generates an image of an astronaut riding a green horse. So this is using a diffusion pipeline guys. It is using a stability AI uh, model which actually needs GPU to run. So this is a very heavy model, image generation model. Uh, but you can see that with zero GPU, free of cost, you have now generated a uh, image from a prompt. Okay. And by this, you can actually create these heavy, uh, you know, applications, these GPU intensive applications free of cost on Hugging Face. Okay. So that was uh, the tutorial, guys, how you can use Jira GPU in your machine learning Hugging Face applications. Uh, all you have to do is a simple decorator and you have to make sure that this is a Gradio SDK. Again, remember you need a hugging face pro subscription for it which is nine dollars a month so if you can afford it feel free to go with zero gpu and start hosting your spaces on that so that was a tutorial guys i hope you guys like this tutorial and i hope your uh, uh, generative ai hugging face machine learning factors became a little bit better with this if you did like this video guys please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you have any questions comments suggestions feedback for me please do write down in the comment section below also, in the end, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Until then, take care and bye-bye.